And meteorologist Carson Meredith joins us now. Yeah, he's got a lot to talk about because of the severe weather headed our way. Let's get right over to it. Yeah, unfortunately, guys, we began the work week with severe weather and we're going to end the work week with severe weather. No major changes to our severe weather outlook this morning where you see that red on our map. Western Tennessee, Western Kentucky, Northern Mississippi actually clipping Lauderdale and Colbert counties. That's where we have that level three risk on a scale from one to five to see that severe weather overnight and early Saturday morning. Let's zoom in tighter on North Alabama. I know there's a lot of different colors and different numbers on this map, but just know that while everybody in North Alabama has the chance to see severe weather overnight and early tomorrow morning, the greatest threat will be for areas west of I-65 where you see those orange and red colors as you get towards Athens, Moulton, and out towards Muscle Shoals as well. Our main threat is damaging straight line winds. We can see those wind gusts upwards of 50 to 60 miles per hour, maybe closer to 70 miles per hour in very isolated instances. So that's our highest risk right now. But we're going to have a ton of wind energy to work with with this storm system. And there's a lot of spin in the atmosphere too. So we can't completely route some of those spin up tornadoes, one or two of which might be a bit strong. As far as the heavy rain concern, we're going to have a lot of rain with this particular system, but it's very fast moving, so I'm not expecting much in the way of flooding. Maybe some ponding on the roadways, but that's about it as this line of storms moves through. Now for your Friday morning commute, we are tracking some showers on the way 31 storm tracker early warning radar network. Nothing very heavy right now, hit and miss in nature, but just keep that umbrella nearby. Not only this morning, but for much of the day today, we're now in what we call the warm sector. That means we have warm, moist air making its way into North Alabama. That's part of the reason why temperatures are in the 50s and why the temperatures will stay in the 50s as the kids head to the bus stop this morning. And our forecast highs, again, we're in that warmer air. It's going to feel more like spring later on today. 72 degrees, that is where we'll be as the kids head home from school later on this afternoon. Not impossible to see a thunderstorm today, but I'm not too worried about severe weather during the daytime hours. Let's go through that timing for tonight, though. Northwest Alabama, the Shoals, Red Bay, Cherokee, 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. You have got to have multiple ways to get those warnings while you're sleeping overnight tonight so that you can be woken up when those storms move in. Again, 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. out in the shoals, 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. in the metro, and then eventually towards Sand Mountain tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock to 11 a.m. on Saturday in northeast Alabama. Let's go through future radar. Again, a few of those pop-up showers today, not expecting much in the way of severe weather. If we do have any thunderstorms that develop this afternoon, which isn't a guarantee, one or two of those might be a bit strong, but not likely severe. Zoom things out just a little bit. Two particular areas of interest, line of storms along along the cold front and storms developing ahead of the cold front. Those storms ahead of the front could have that tornado potential that I was just talking about a moment ago. Those two clusters look like they might merge together as they move into northwest Alabama by 5 o'clock tomorrow morning along I-65 by 6 or 7 a.m. and eventually towards Sand Mountain by 9 or 10 o'clock tomorrow morning according to this data source. And then we start to dry things out and end our severe weather threat after lunchtime tomorrow. Again, stay weather aware. Use today to prepare so you can be ready when those storms move in tonight. Multiple ways to get those warnings. Download our Way 31 Storm Tracker weather app and stay with us here on air and online at waytv.com and our social media pages as well as we continue to keep a very close eye on the system. Good news is once the front moves out next week, looks much quieter but still mild. Those temperatures are back in the 70s by the middle part of next week.